Hi, this is Natalie from 9.arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here with the first week challenge video for April um, and the hashtag is hashtag LDA for year underscore um, anniversary sorry, is it the underscore? it's the lower um, bar, I'm not sure I think it's an underscore, yeah the other one doesn't work <clears throat> Uh, but I will add it to the video and in the description box of this video. And we will be working with, uh, you can work with this kit, this one, or this one, or with all of them, whatever you prefer, or with none of them. I'm not going to show you all the pages because I have a flip through video with all the pages in it. Uh, and that is linked down below too. Um, but you can also work, <coughs> sorry, with the freebies and... This is the hashtag, LDA 4 year underscore anniversary. Um, I made this and when I was printing it, I added more pages. <clears throat> so it says six pages, but in, in total you will receive nine. And I will tell you why. Uh, because we are going to create vintage photo strips. And these are rather big. <laughs> um, but you can still use them in your journal, of course, because you can cut them, um, even cut them over here. Um, so I left it in, but I also did some resizing, so I put two pages on one page, so you have a smaller version. But I'm going to show you the bigger size, because I already printed the smaller one and cut out and did some preparing. So I'm going to show you the smaller size after this. But this is included, and these are a little bit smaller already, you see. These little embellishment pieces are included, and then photos. And these are old photos, so no, they are not the brightest, they are not the sharpest, they are vintage, they are old. Uh, I did my best to make them as good as possible, but they are old. And then I have, sorry, I first want to show you this one. I have this and this little boy. He's my favorite. I really like him. But I have these little like on the cabinet card you always have the photographer's name oh and a funny thing this is uh, Groningen in the Netherlands um, this is Amsterdam and also this is also Amsterdam Amsterdam so I put in uh, Dutch elements because this is also Dutch uh, it says um, Please look uh, nice, so in a way, smile. Look nice to be on the picture. Then I have a collage sheet with photographer elements because I'm going to do challenges um, that go very well with each kit. So this one is for the photograph photographer's work. And next week we're going to do something else with the red velvet or the ephemera pieces, I'm not sure yet. And then I have these uh, portrait pictures. Like I said, I also have everything in a smaller version. And I did some preparing. And with these, you can actually create a vintage photo strip. <clears throat> and I'm sorry about my, uh, because I'm not feeling well. I'm having a cold. And having a hard time breathing. But I really wanted to do this video today. I also wanted to do crafting. So, And I have these. And I have one more. But I already created something. And I also want to show you. I cut out these and those little elements too. So these are really small. I also back them. But you don't have to do that of course. But I did that. And I created. This is also one of the strips. So this is the largest one on the smaller size and I made this <clears throat> and I added some sewing, some stamping, added some cheesecloth um, I also did something at the back I even added a, a tab thingy and some eyelets and I think I also wanted to add a third eyelet but I totally forgot <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to create one thing off camera <clears throat> to be sure um, it would look nice 
but yeah the the possibilities are endless and if you want a, like a more floral uh, photo strip you can add like your floral images of course um, or combine them with other uh, images the little uh, portrait pictures and with um, florals it doesn't have to be like this sorry so hot <laughs> Yeah, so let's um, let's create one together. And I have my eyes set. I'm not going to do that now, but this one needs to be over here. <laughs> I really like that little fellow. I thought about, oh, I also, sorry, I forgot to show you. I also printed the smaller size on, um, this is chalk paper, it's sort of vellum, uh, on this. And this is the, because you also receive, this one is smaller and this is printed on a uh, vellum. <clears throat> so I thought, well, that's cute too. I really like these. So let's um, create one on camera together. Um, I like her too. But maybe I'm going for the little portraits, these. Let's see if we can create something with that. I have three headed guys and a few ladies. Where's the lady? I want... No, I want her too. Mm. Okay, what I'm going to put over here. No, I'm going to do it like this. No, like I said. So I want to put these on here. <clears throat> I'm going to ink. And um, the film strip um, is sort of vintage. But like I said, you can put anything on that you want to put on. You can also use like fabrics or if you want to add metal pieces. Um, whatever floats your boat, of course, because it's supposed to be fun. Uh, I think I want to add I need to cut off a little bit but it's a, a great way to use your stems and eyelets and, and things like that because and it can be a, a tag or um, it can be clipped into your journal or it can be a bookmark, because this can be a bookmark. I was also thinking maybe I can put them like so. But hmm, then I thought maybe I need a bigger one. here maybe I'm going to do this so I'm going to use the bigger one oh I think I also want to edge uh, do some edging But like I said, you can also make it um, more romantic, use floral stems, um, ribbons in uh, pinks and blues. It doesn't have to be um, 
grungy or semi-grungy. You can do whatever you want, of course. <clears throat> I'm just thinking I have um, distress crayons, but I'm not sure what kind of color this this one is. Sort of pinkish. Well, let's try. Let's try pink. So then it's a little less um, grungy, maybe. So, and I also need to ink this one. I don't think I inked her. No, I did not. But maybe um, I wanted to stress those images too. And if you don't have a uh, distress tool like I do, you can also just do this. That works too. To be honest, maybe it even works better. Yeah, but I already got this tool, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to do the other ones off camera. So I distressed all the corners and I need to ink them, just figuring out what color I'm going to use. It is red, but I think it will be more pinkish because I did it um, Ooh, directly on the on the edges. Oh, I forgot to distress this one. Okay, do that. But yeah, we had a great week this week. <laughs> My husband uh, was sick, very sick to be honest. Um, he went to the doctor and even had to go to the hospital to have his lungs checked. But the x-ray was okay, so yay. But yeah, as you can hear, he he gave it to me. Or I gave it to him, I don't know. But he was ill before I even was. So we're all uh, coughing now and, well, not feeling very well. But yeah. Hopefully it's just a cold and we will be okay very soon. I have received a gift from Cheryl. You all know her, she's in the Facebook group. Very talented lady. And she sent me all these um, pretty items and also cheesecloth. And I'm so happy that she sent that to me. I really appreciate it, um, but I'm really uh, overjoyed with, um, not saying it right, but I really like all the items she sent me, and she also made me a necklace, <clears throat> it was absolutely gorgeous, oh, gorgeous, and she said, well, I know you wear silver, but I didn't have silver, and she combined different colors of metals. But I don't only wear silver, I wear gold, silver and rosé gold. Not sure if you know that, but uh, this is also gold, this is rosé. Uh, so your necklace goes very well. And I did wear it um, with a certain piece of clothing. It went very well. Yeah, you can't see that on camera, can you? <laughs> because you only see my hands, but she did a terrific job creating that necklace. And 
and of course the cheesecloth is optional you don't have to put that um, in your project of course but I think it is fun and sticky <laughs> But I want it like this, yeah? I want it like so. Almost forgot. Okay, she's a little bit too much with the cheesecloth. And I'm debating whether I'm going to sew around the images. Maybe I should put this over here so you don't have the glare. Not sure what you think. I'm I'm going to do sewing. Uh, I'm going to sew around all the images. Yeah, that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that off camera. I will be back in a minute. So I sewn around this piece too, and I'm also going to run over the stitching with uh, my distress um, crayon because. Um, with stitching you create some sort of texture and that pink color is really going to set into that texture so it's framing it a little bit more I'm not going to make it too wet just like this and <clears throat> to dry it a little And I also want to add a little bit of red over here. And I did sew around those images. I did a zigzag and two, two with zigzag and two with a straight stitch. And <clears throat> I want to put them on. On this but what I do want to do is because I do like those black lines between those images so I thought well maybe I can make one myself just gonna give it a go hopefully it will work oh I need to Go over here. Almost. <laughs> so I have this one, I have this one. It's not really showing, but I'm going to leave it. So, let's put the images on. Hmm, this one is not really showing, but yeah, I'm not going to make another line. I tried and it didn't work. And 
And it's also an option, of course, if you didn't back this yet, to sew the images directly onto the to the vintage photo strip, and then back it, and then sew around the border. But yeah, I did I did the gluing. Um, but I do like this, and it's a small, fun project to work with, and um, it's so rewarding because you can finish, and um, you can craft any, and also finish the project uh, the same day. Uh, it's not sitting on your desk, desk for weeks. Sometimes we need that. And I have some new stamps. They are called Sign Here from Kate Holden. Katie Holden. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it the right way. But the stamps are fun. And they are very tiny, which I like. I'm going to stamp some um, numbers. It's the same. Oh, number two. Uh, not number two, but it's a number two. <laughs> and I'm going to stamp <coughs> a little bit on the images. Okay, it's not really. Oh, this is brown. Yeah, okay, that's why it's not showing. <laughs> I thought I had black, but it's espresso, brown espresso, so yeah, that's not popping. Although this is not popping either. But yeah, you do see it, but it's not in your face, so to speak. I'm not even sure if the number is supposed. Yeah, this is the right direction. But yeah, these stems are very tiny. Uh, and I think I already lost one. <laughs> yeah, I did. This one, not sure where I left it, but yeah, I'm sure I will find it. Not sure if you can see, it's stamped over here and over here. And we also have these. These little elements. So I'm going to put these on. Mm, not sure where I want it. Maybe over here. And this one can go over here. Of course, I'm going to pop in some eyelets. Although, maybe I need to pop in a smaller one. Otherwise, you won't see the, the circle thingy anymore. Okay, this is not not the right. Okay, this one I'm going to do the bigger one. Yeah, this one too. Change my mind. 
to pop in bigger uh, eyelets. So we had already lost the stamp. But yeah, I think I will find it again. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, these are the freebies that you can work with in the hashtag LD8 for year underscore anniversary challenge. And the challenges are going to be hosted in four different Facebook groups. Found it. Um, I have a link tree link below this video that is taking you straight to those Facebook groups. In the Facebook group, I also have a link tree link that's going to take you straight to those Facebook groups. And the Facebook groups are, um, of course, Line Not Arrow, and then Choose the Shadiam, Junk Journal Tutorials, and more, and Sweet Pea Papers. The freebies can be found uh, in Line.Arrow Facebook group and on my Ko-Fi page, but you can enter using the hashtag with the freebies in each Facebook group. And at the end of the challenge, there will be four winners drawing in each Facebook group. So if you post in four groups, you can win uh, your four times chance of winning, uh, more chance of winning. So you increase your chances of winning. And that's the idea. And it's also a lot of fun to see all the makes in all the groups. Um, I'm not sure if I want to make something else. Um, I do like the uh, vellum pieces that I printed. But maybe I can make something uh, in the next video. And leave it at this for now. Uh, I have so many ideas about this. Uh, but this is what we got today. Uh, this is how it looks at the back. Maybe I need to pop it on a, on a white sheet. So we got this one and we got this one. I hope you can see better now because the lighting is Hmm. Yeah, I'm still debating whether I need to make another small project or not. Um, because I really like these. And I think, well, let's, let's just give it a go. First I need to figure out, I think I want to use this one. I don't know what I was doing, but I needed to cut straight around this strip, but I didn't. I have no idea why I did not. Uh, maybe I want to add... These. You know what? I'm going to create this and I'm going to uh, fast forward this a little so you can do, you can see me do what I do, but I'm not going to speak because 
Oh <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm very um, short on breath, but yeah, let's do that. Let's speed up a little. So um, I didn't know I was going to use my, um, how do you call it, laminator, but suddenly I thought, well, I wanted to add acetate on the back of the vellum sheet to give it a little bit more sturdiness. And then I thought, well, why not run it through the laminator? Um, it is very shiny because of the light. Um, not sure if you can see, maybe over here. Yeah, that is better. It's only, yeah. But yeah, it is. It is shining through, and I just added a little bit of blue on top. Um, but yes, we are going to create these. And um, if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't need to sew, of course. Uh, you can use embossing ink, uh, ink, distress ink, uh, watercolor. Um, whatever you have or like um like this um these uh elements um this is finger wax you can use that um you can you can do a lot um so i hope you like the video i like i said i'm not in the best condition today but i really wanted to do the video and i i really looked forward playing with these and I had the idea in my mind for days but I didn't make them yet I made them this morning um, so yeah grab your freebies go over to Line Not Arrow grab the freebies um, also visit the other Facebook groups Sweet Pea Papers, June Journal Tutorials and more and Two Sister Gem so you have four Facebook groups you can join in and when you post uh, use the hashtag LDA four year underscore anniversary and each 
post, not a picture, but each post is one entry if you only use the freebies and two entries if you use one of the kits together with the freebies or only the, the kits. And yeah, for those of you who already joined challenges before, you, kn you know how it works. But yeah, this is it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I hope to see you the next time. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.